Good evening, welcome back to My Life as a King. Very briefly, I wanna go over something that I did off camera. I grinded the Infinity Spire a little bit. Not a big deal, you didn't miss a whole heck of a lot. We handed out a couple, of, you know, one or two point medals. We fought a couple of interesting monsters. The Great Marlboro, Spectre, the Octo Mammoth, and Shiva. I also rebuilt the library and threw a bunch of money at that, trying to level up some skills because, holy crap, that's kind of a, a tedious thing. That's all. Just did like 20-ish days almost, something around there. So sped that process up a little bit for you so you don't have to watch the endless grind. And now I'm back to your regularly scheduled My Life is King video. Now that we got that little recap out of the way, let us continue. Oh gosh, so many dead people. Two of them I actually care about. Eldevrala and Tortodex, what are you doing? The land of Okaku. Bought an Arimon and it just wrecked your day. Okay. That is unfortunate. Oh gosh, we're still super broke. We're so poor. <sighs> so poor. All right, we are going to be finally fighting the boss of the colossal city of Heparl. Gygus Golem Masons dwell in this oversized city, and we're going to go fight their boss, Titan. We'll probably also want to do a couple of the other behests kicking around for um, rare materials, that sort of thing. <clears throat> yeah, this will be good. Okay, now I want to show off some of the medals we've gotten, and also just take stock of them so we can see how many things we can afford to go do. Get super high stats. Uh, other view medals. We have the one vitality medal still. That's good. That's, that's good. I haven't given that out yet. I want to give that out, though. I want to boost somebody's HP. Don't know who yet. We'll give it to somebody. So we have Acrobat for Dexterity and Agility. Both very thief-like stats, but you know, we can give them to anybody. I want to do that. We have a Guardian Medal, so that's uh, three total that we have so far. Toughness and Willpower. That would probably be great for a White Mage. Uh, three, so then two Artisans, so five total. That's that's a lot. I have more of these than I realized. Strength, Dexterity, and Intellect. Uh, six would be Vitality, Strength, and Agility for the Wanderer. Vitality is, I believe, the HP, and yeah, toughness is defense. So this is really, really good. And I think that's it. I think I could say safely that that is it. Okay, so we got six medals that we can give out. We can do six big fancy behests. Um, I do actually need to run around and use morale spheres and talk to people and boost our city morale as much as I possibly can because I realized partway through just skipping several days grinding the Infinity Tower that I was not making anywhere near as much money as I usually do because we weren't overloading the morale. Every time we fill up the bar, we get a bonus to the money we're making. And I was not getting that. All right, two of our parties want to go. Reinvolt and Walden. So Rizri? I think she's still in charge of the party. She doesn't feel it going today. Why is that? Are you actually in charge of a party? Yeah, Rizri is in charge of a party. Land of Okaku. So you just feel like grinding? That's the highest level party, too. Um, I probably mentioned this in my little recap at the start of the video, but we've got most of these up to 40 or 45. We got them all up to 40, most of them up to 45. I probably want to take these up to 50 if I can. We're at the point now where we could conceivably raise a bunch of things to 50. 
just throughout the town, lots of upgrades. And that that would be an okay thing to do. Oh, I'm so poor. <laughs> We're so poor. Oh, and that reminds me, again, another thing that I was working towards. Yeah, here we go. I tore down a whole bunch of houses. I basically wanted to tear down all of the small houses and actually put large houses in their place because we need the money. Ten for one space, which would be two... Uh, sorry, two spaces would mean we get 20 gil. And here for two spaces we get 30 gil. And we are poor enough now, having to do all these library upgrades, that yeah. This is what I want to do. We had one large house on the end here originally, and then two small houses in these uh, central areas, these middle areas. Nah, -uh. None of that. Yeah, if... Oh man, when we get the luxurious houses, that'll make life a bit easier, money-wise, but by that point we won't really need it. Luxurious houses are pretty exclusively for New Game Plus. That's really all I care about for. Oh, and also we have two dead people I need to go talk to. Let's not forget that. Tell you what, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. We're just gonna do three days, not gonna edit any of this out. We're gonna do a little bit of housekeeping. We gotta make sure that our city is all nice and tidy. Things are going well here. Gotta make sure we have plenty of houses kicking around. I'm tempted to build a couple of uh, larger houses just, like, while we wait. While we wait for the luxurious houses. We could fill these spots here. Is it right to build houses and then just immediately tear them down? Oh, they're even- they're, like, just really awkward shapes. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna bother. Oh my gosh, so many people to talk to. Uh, we gotta go figure out what other houses I tore down. Because I don't remember. I was contemplating... Oh, we might tear these down today. Tear down Cian's house and Miranda's house and put in one new larger house there. Might have to do that. Like I said, super broke. Desperate times call for desperate measures and all that. All right, Robin and Yvonne are heading out. We've also got a fairly large crew coming out here, a party. Galail, okay. Elsa, yep, good luck. That means Linus. And Rizri. So they're off to go level up, a little bit of grinding. Not mistaken. Yeah, here were the other small houses that I tore down. No, it had to happen. a whopping, what, like 20 or 30 extra gil that we're making every day, but it'll add up. And I think that that'll also um, roll into the morale bonus. I think that'll make us get a bigger bonus. Oh gosh, I missed somebody. Let me fill the... Oh good, I got Kriya. Yeah. Let me fill the bar. The morale bar. Um, the only small houses we could tear down and replace with a larger house that I have not elected to do so with the ones back at the start. I was talking about those. Which I think we need to be a little more careful with because I don't want to accidentally glitch out our people and have somebody uh, trapped inside the castle again. We already have Lewis living in the castle permanently and that sucks. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. I can help it. Um, these houses. Clint and Charlene. Because I was hoping to have double the odds of getting a medal here. 
That appears to not be happening. So I might just tear those down. Let's do... Um, oh, let's do more morale, that's for sure. I believe we just had people arrive at the Colossal City. Was that what I saw? I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, the land of Okaku. Well, people should have reached the Colossal City by now, also. Yeah, Ramvolt is engaged Titan. Oh no, quickly, get to the thing. Must hit shrine. Wow, good chunk of damage already. Another benefit from grinding the Infinity Spire for a little bit, in addition to giving our people money and a chance to learn racial abilities from the library and just all the different things that people could do, uh, it just gave a bunch of my people chances to level up, so we are a little bit higher level now, kind of across the board. Including, um, oh, we have another person to go talk to, don't we? We have Elder Vrala, I think. Sorry, very easily distracted. There's a lot going on. Uh, who's our thief? Was it Lucina? The one who I gave... Oh, Alma, there we go. It, uh, that all worked out. Um, our thief, who I gave the training medal to, has shot up through the ranks. Finally. Finally, 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 she's like level 50. Which is ridiculous, because that means she's now one of the higher level characters that we have. Actually, let's take a look at that. Kicking her out of the party, and just not really sending her on a lot of behests, just kind of letting her do her own thing, she leveled up real, real fast. No. Lucina's 43. Oh yeah, she was. She gained like 10 levels. She was uh, way far behind. Or was it Yuaro? Yuaro was the one. Yuaro was the furthest behind. She is no longer the furthest behind. She's now right in the middle of the pack. Uh, Linus is 51, Elsa's 49, she's hot on his heels. Uh, Robin is not one of mine, so it doesn't matter. Kriegill, 48. Yeah, so level 50 upgrades would not be a horrible thing to start working towards. Wow, we did a hefty chunk of damage to Titan. That's pretty exciting. Ooh, Walden's party. We're in party number two. That's exciting. Um, I think these are all the people that went south. I believe that's how you get to the Colossal City, so I think it's... I think this is the gate that they all went out and the gate that they're all going to come from. So we should maybe have a stakeout in the morning. Hang out outside, of, like, right around this area, so that we can talk to everybody as they go. Yeah, there's there's the first party coming back. They look sad and depressed, it's just because they didn't win. They didn't die, it just... You know, fought for a long time and had to retreat. It happens. Ooh, nighttime music. Yeah, I have decided we're going to tear down these two houses and replace them with a big one as well. Which one is it? Charlene's house? We're just not getting any real, uh, like, medals or morale boosts for them. They don't seem to leave their house very often. Um, this is a thing that I'm going to miss, though, is the people just right here in this little neighborhood just walking back and forth between these three houses. It happens a lot, and I think it's cool. I think it might be boosting people's morale as they go hang out with friends, go visit them. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. It happens a lot here. And that is a thing that I'm kind of sad about destroying. Oh, did we... Did everybody come back? Everybody came back. Yeah, there you are. Quickly, can I... This is, like, a frivolous use of a morale sphere, but you know what? We have a billion of them. <laughs> I fill them up so much quicker than I could ever use them, and we also have at least four in storage at any given time. So I don't mind. Fossil City, did you only go in a group of three? What? What, 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 what? Wait. Uh, we'll just look at it in the morning. It's, it's pretty much bedtime. So whatever party Lewis is in, we gotta take a look at them, because they went without a white mage. I 
think they went without a white mage. I don't know, they were missing somebody. Okay, Lucina's alive. Grant is actually alive. Kriegiel, totally alive. So people died and were revived during the fight. I'm curious to know, did you use a Phoenix Pinion or just spells Phoenix Downs for the whole party? I'm kind of curious. Um... Titan is 10,000 HP. You mugged him right out the gate? Okay. Tiny bit of Elementite. I might not look at it, but I'm actually aiming each swing of my flurry. Sire. Okay. Oh, he hit Grant. Oh, Krieg Yale. Uh, you gotta be a little more careful, buddy. Not a huge fan of that. Um, that's okay. Grant hit him with Holy. Grant did a turn one Holy. That's awesome. That's because of the... Uh, um spellcasting ability that I think. No, I thought that was Yuke's only. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't matter. He just fired off that holy spell. Regale blocking some attacks, covering Grant. Titan's charging up for a big attack. That sucks. Oh, yeah. That's two dead people. Lucina even used a potion and then died after that. That sucks. Wow, Thundaga just wrecked everything in that fight. That's awesome. Yeah, three people dead. Ryan Vault brought back Lucina. What did he use? Just a, a Phoenix Pinion? Or Phoenix Down, I mean. Grant used the Phoenix down to revive Kree Yale. Yep, get the, the tank up. Makes sense, makes sense. Ooh, Reinvolt cast Thundara. Masterful incantations enable the spell to bypass the target's elemental resistances. That is from the library for sure. Okay, I'm sufficiently entertained by that. Uh, actually, wait, before we do the financial report, did anybody else die? And who was missing from this party? I mean, can we see? No, we have to see it like a fight. There you go. Here you battled the Dire Cobra. Walden, Lewis, and Harlevat. So, Luis didn't join the thief. Uh, Luis, what did you do? The gaming hall. Oh, you would. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, nobody died, so we can set them all out again today. It probably took a hefty morale hit. Especially the party that uh, actually fought Titan and had some people die. But that's okay. A large house to build on the other side. Okay, well, I guess we're just sending out the one party. That's fine. It's gonna be a bit slow, just the way it's gonna be. You did I? Decent chunk of damage to Titan, though. I'm actually really impressed. Actually, I'm curious to see who gets this house.
David's house. That might have been the house that was over here by the bakery. Ended up not buying anything. Oh, I did upgrade some stuff out and about here, I believe. We're up to level 45 on everything. Oh no, maybe I was just thinking that we needed to. I don't know that I actually did. Um. Yeah, man, everything is so freaking expensive. But let's start upgrading things to level 50. Slowly. Slowly start chipping away at those things. Um, are warriors a level 50? Or we have a level 50 warrior. So warrior only things are most worthwhile for us to upgrade right now. Oh, that's what I did. I upgraded the spells, I believe. Let's go take a look at those. Maybe I'm just crazy. Nope, okay. I just I thought about it, and that was as far as I got. Oh, the Sky Sphere. I just saw it pull its gangplank back. Dropping people off at the top of the castle there. That's pretty cool. I would love to ride one of those into a sweet new castle town like this. I think that would be awesome. Alright, speaking of awesome, we are going to go up here, and we're going to address everyone. And it is morale raising time. Let's go see if anybody has anything interesting to say. Or if they're all just talking about bread. Azra, yep, building an Emporium. Got it. I'm actually a couple steps ahead of you in that I have already built the Emporium. Still shocked that a spirit could hide within our crystal. And what about Architect? Perhaps we know less about this monolith than we think. I mean, it's a giant rock that gave us magic powers. That's all I know about it. <laughs> I don't know anything else about it. I guess we learned that the Dark Lord was uh, trapped inside of it. And we may have accidentally freed him. I believe some vigor has returned to the Crystal Sparkle. Okay. Talking about the Crystal today? Ooh, look at that, a Star Carrot. Prizes in the gaming hall. Yeah, I know. That's We had a thief do that. Oh, you want me to build an Emporium too? Jeez, you people just don't get out much, do you? You're gonna go make some sort of a bread-based supper for your family. You haven't seen the cute hostess from the bakery? Oh. And you haven't seen her either. Jeez, okay, that's why everybody's going to the bakery. I get it. Here, I thought it was just for the bread. Nope, no, no, no. All right, what else do we have here? Anybody else to talk to? Oh, there's a new, young, enterprising wannabe adventurer. That's not gonna happen. Wow, that's a lot of adventurers to talk to. Wow, everybody wants me to build an Emporium today. What is going on? Did everybody in town wake up with like a bizarre collective amnesia? Or do they just want a second Emporium? Are they like, I don't like the prices here today. I wish there was more competition. So I can understand that. Simon the Warrior, and Dustin the Thief. People are setting out. Oh, I meant to have a stakeout up here. That didn't happen. Since all of our parties are setting out 
This party probably already set out as well. Let's go fight Titan. Yeah, I don't even see him on the road. They're probably long gone, or maybe they're slow. Maybe they're still here. Probably not still. Oh no! Ha 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 ha! They are still here. talk to. I see a person. I see a green face. Robin the Thief was wiped out. That's unfortunate. Robin the Thief, you like hanging out here quite a bit, don't you? Smoke rises from the bakery at dusk, lingering in the rosy hue of the hazy twilight sky. You have filled this town with a sublime air that artists only dream of. Thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. Glad that I could be so inspiring. The sky is full of stars, and my stomach is full of tasty pastry. Ooh, tasty pastry. That's a fun rhyme to say. With so many bakeries scattered about town, life couldn't be better. You are welcome. There we go. There's, there's people actually enjoying the bread. Land of Okaku again. Uh, we're waiting for people to hit the colossal city. That's when we need to go hit the shrines. So let's maybe kind of mosey over towards the shrines. Folklore states that anyone exposed to the miasma, which is now gone, by the way, thanks to the events of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, the original game, maybe the sequel, I don't know. They're that's a whole spin-off series that I never dealt with. The Crystal Chronicles games. Anyway, anybody exposed to the miasma would become a monster. I wonder what it would feel like to wander aimlessly through that fell mist, unable to find my way. Slowly, would it be a slow process? Would you slowly turn into a monster? Or would it just be like, somebody flipped a switch and now, shablam, you transform into a monster. You're like a werewolf. I don't know which would be cooler. Oh, my morale wore out. We're out, we're off. It's gone. It ran out. That's, ugh, whatever. Got yeah, morale. Again, just so we can talk to these last couple of people here, and we can hit some shrines. We'll just hit the two shrines right now. I love watching the sky just slowly get all sunsetty. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, you're fighting Titan. Let's give everyone a little HP boost. My HP boost may have been what kept the one person alive. I forget who it was, but like one person lived through all the attacks and the other three got wiped out. I, I, I wasn't paying that close attention to when the HP shrine got hit. That was right around there? I don't know. I don't know if I kept the one person alive or if I restored everybody else to full HP. Or, you know, gave them more HP after they were all revived. thought about parties again. Parties that I had set up here. Reinvolt is a low-level character kind of by design, because he was going off and doing specific things for me when I was grinding a little bit. Um, 41, 40, 39, 44. We could afford to put Yuaro into a party. He's 
no longer the lowest level character that we have. All the Vrala is, and Tordidex. Hmm. Nah, no, we'll leave the parties for now. I think that's okay. Do I need to go talk to... Yuaro? No. I think she's resting because she's done for the day. She finished her mission. Okay, Walden's party has finally fled from battle. And we did another hefty chunk of damage to Titan. I think we're going to get through most of Titan's health bar just in these three days in this one video. That's pretty cool. Now back to the morale boost because I need money. Elsa, Hulail, Linus, you're missing one? You're missing one. You're missing your thief, I believe? That's no good. What's with all of our thieves just like ducking out and just hanging out in the gaming halls? You guys are super bummed out by not being able to defeat Titan. It's okay, you guys did real good work. I'm super proud of you. It was awesome. You guys are doing great. Lumley, my friend, asked me if I wanted to help him write a tale based on our kingdom's history. He put me in charge of the title, but I'm drawn a blank. The something king? My life is a... Something? You're almost there. I'll let you figure it out. I guess I'll be heading home. My family awaits, and also bread. Oh, sweet, sweet bread. People are crazy. Alright, we're making real good progress. We're getting a fair bit of money. Fighting Titan a lot. I like this. I wish we could send more than one party to fight Titan. I wish we were sending, you know, two or all three. There's only so much I can do, though. Okay, Walden and Party, are you actually dead? Walden is actually dead, so you guys are out for today. Good, Lewis is not actually dead, because when Lewis is out, he's out for two days, and there's nothing I can do to get him on his feet quicker. Uaro is also out for the day. Oh, so she did get wiped out. I just couldn't talk to her yesterday. Interesting. So who is it? Uaro and Walden. Post the behest. I'm not sure we're actually going to have anybody take it. And that sucks. Hey, Ryan Vault wants to go. <sighs> okay, I'm going to send Tordidex. Tordidex, feel free to recruit anybody who you want to recruit. You know what? We're... I am going to rebalance the parties. One party is just the lowest level people. Which is 
why it's a warrior, two black mages, and a thief. And that's Walden's party. <laughs> They've been going out to fight the boss like that. Uh... And Lewis is the one black mage who doesn't have any um, specializations. There we go. Now we don't have two free white mages just floating around. Um, let's get all of these upgraded some more. I would not mind having all of these abilities up to 50. I think that would be a really good thing to have. I think that should be high priority. So we'll go for Yukish Lore and Yukish Might, and the Yukes are good to go. Lilties, I think, also could be good. Oh, you're expensive. That's right. Everything Lilties is very expensive. Okay. Decent enough progress on that front. Um, we don't have enough money to do anything else worthwhile. Oh, gosh. Oh no, why are you all in such a bad mood? Be best, Lucina. Be best. Morant as well? Yep. Grant, your party needs you. You're a white mage. You're the, the cornerstone of a party. Except for that party that doesn't have a white mage, but we're just not going to talk about them. Harlevat, also, I believe in you. You got this. Um. Oh, that's Tordidex. Walden is here. Yep. And we just talked to Lucina in the park, so I think she's fine now. I don't think she's actually sleeping. Uh, Viva Info. I'm so used to just telling you to talk to everyone. Uh, adventurer... Oh, you are. Oh, there we go. And Robin, but can't do anything about Robin. Let us boost some morale. Yes, your favorite bread. Okay, all right. The mere thought of going shopping and getting some bread gets you all excited. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I have no idea which house. Our Earth Beef is there. We go. There's your arrow. Okay, she'll be feeling better in the morning. And I know we really need to run around and just talk to people nonstop and like grind through as much morale as we can to make money so I can upgrade things because holy crap, everything is so expensive now. But... I'm just going to talk to a few more people and then I'm going to call it for today. Actually, no, you know what? We'll we'll stick it out. We'll do the shrine thing for Titan and stuff. I changed my mind. I talked myself out of it. Just bounce around here. Talk to as many people as we can. Could go up in the lookout tower and make everyone talk to a bull. I probably should do that. You people in your bread. Good grief. I'm confused. What is the Dark Lord? It's just evil. It's pure evil. Evil incarnate. Ooh, I get to see the gentleman who runs the bakery again today. 
I wonder if he'll ever notice the come hither looks that I send his way. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep it up. I believe in you. I have faith. <laughs> Your favorite bread. Good grief. People, bread. I don't know if just the bread is an excuse so you can go see the people that you have a crush on that work at the bakeries, or if you're actually obsessed with bread and seeing the uh, attractive members of the opposite sex is just a bonus. I'm really not sure at this point. I could go either way on that one. I don't know. They do talk about bread an awful lot. Let's go up into the lookout and we'll talk to everybody from up here. Now that it's the middle of the day and a lot of people are out and about. This seems like a really good time to address everyone. If you dress everyone too early in the morning, as I often do on accident, then there just aren't that many people out, and so you're not getting a huge benefit from it. Look at all the people. There's so many people to talk to. to talk to. Not a lot of new stuff to say. There's one or two new things that pop up every now and then, but I'm just, I skip through them on accident. Just out of habit more than anything else. Ooh, more people to talk to. Also, it's about that time for us to be paying attention to the pop-ups in the top right corner and see when our people uh, get to the Titan fight. Gotta hide the bread, because they're animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to settle this Battle of the Chefs before the big showdown with the Dark Lord. But those darn Moogles keep getting in the way. I know, Moogles, they're wretched little creatures. Almost as bad as penguins. Not really, I like Moogles. I think they're awesome. When I was young, my old house was the whole world, and when it was taken from me... Uh, but now I have a new home, and I'm going to do all that it takes to protect it. Alright, good for you, Rudolph. I like that attitude. Also, Pavlov, you can hang out here and talk to people, please. Do something useful. And stop following me around, it's kind of creepy. Oh, they're fighting Titan already. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't even see that they arrived. No. Oh, wow. Are you guys just setting out to fight Titan? We Gale. I don't, I don't remember who I sent. Did I send you guys? Yeah, the Colossal City. Okay, so <laughs> you're just now setting out to go fight Titan. And we've already got somebody out there fighting Titan. I think that party that we just talked to has the greater odds of winning. So maybe we wait for them. Oh, we're gonna give up on whoever's there fighting him right now. Oh, I feel kind of bad about that. Well, I believe it's Tortodex right now, and he's not a part of a party. He's just out there with whatever randos he wanted to recruit. He's doing good work, though. I 
don't know how long the blessings last, so if I give them to people who are still on their way... I don't know. Oh, gosh darn it, Pavlov, you're not the one I wanted to talk to. Okay, well, they fled from battle. That's okay. I think the HP Shrine is the most important. One or two stat points? Eh. That's not particularly significant. I actually have no idea how much of a boost these shrines provide. Okay, somebody's still gonna arrive. I know you are. There we go, there's Reinvolt's party. Wait for them to engage Titan and then we'll hit this. There's Rizri. There's Elsa. You missing your warrior? You're missing Linus. What did you guys do to Linus? There we go. HP recover. I hope that helped. You guys are another group of three. You're missing a person. Why are we always down by a person? Why are we always missing a person? I don't understand. I might just need to take a day off and do something else. Because I have no idea why our people are like off cycle from each other. I hate when that happens. Oh my gosh, look at how close to dead Titan is. Are we going to do it? Are you guys going to pull it off? That would be amazing. Holy crap, they did it! Oh my gosh, right at the end of the day. Which means we don't get to take advantage of the super morale boosts by talking to people. Because we're going to have to go to bed. Dang it, Chime. Chime, I want to just stay up all night just once. Just as one night. I just want to talk to my citizens. Super duper morale boosts from this. I love it. Oh, we are so poor. <laughs> we need money so badly. Oh, there's a person. Can I talk to you before Chime makes me go to bed? There we go. We filled the bar. I feel very happy about that. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. So we finally have the luxurious houses. We'll do um, maybe a, a few more behests to hand out some medals. You know, go get armor plating and those sorts of things. We have a couple of those that we can do. And that'll be the next video. And then the video after that, we're going to just focus on going after the Dark Lord. We're very close to being done. This is awesome. Thanks for joining, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And hope you're excited to see the end of everything. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.